Hey gang, welcome to another version, another episode of September Wisdom Wednesday. As you know, if you've tuned into other Wisdom Wednesdays, we have a theme every month. And the theme for this month is spiral into September. Uh, spiral as in a past, but as you know, there are also downward spirals, but there are also upward spirals. And we're talking about... Um, the, well, the football spiral is kind of a little pun on spiral into September because football season started last weekend. But uh, we're talking about getting into an upward spiral in your own personal life. And so um, last week we covered some fun topics. This week going to be a fun but uh, action-packed and, and information-filled topic. I'm going to have to do a little reading because I got 11 nutrients, 11 one, one, 11 uh, nutrients that will give you healthier teeth. And some of them might come as a surprise to you. And then I'll give you my health tip at the end because the two kind of segue together. But I think you might find this interesting because um, some of these were news to me too. So get your pen and, pe pe pen and pencil out and uh, let's uh, go through the playbook uh, if we're making uh, football jokes. Um, <laughs> So, number 11, antioxidants. What are antioxidants? Well, these, there's these things floating around in our bodies called free radicals that happen when cells get damaged. Antioxidants have been known for a long, long time to, if, if you've got them in your system, that they will attack those free radicals and neutralize them so that they don't cause damage. Uh, antioxidants also help with cell damage and uh, combat bacteria. So how do you get antioxidants? Well, um, you have to eat certain things. And so that's what we're going to talk about. You find antioxidants in nuts, in beans, in berries, and in apples. Sorry, all really healthy stuff. No junk food. If they could only come up with something that you drove through at McDonald's and got, and it was like the anti antioxidant uh, burger, but uh, that doesn't, doesn't work like that. So anyway, antioxidants are number one on the list. Uh, the tenth, we're, we're, we're going in reverse order. That's number 11. Number 10, anthocyanins. Uh, that's a mouthful. Try saying that five times real fast, anthocyanins, anthocyanins, anthocyanins. Um, you find these in blue, purple, red fruits, in vegetables, and in grains. You're going to hear this over and over again. All those good things to eat that we all know are healthy things for us is where you're going to find a lot of these things, and that might have some to do with my health tip. Um, you know, scientists have been studying the relationship between anthocyanins they're found in the pigmented fruits. Um, Grapeseed oil is a, a great uh, uh, extract that is in a lot of, of the dental mouthwashes and stuff now because it's known to help with periodontal diseases, which is bleeding gums. But um, anthocyanins have also found been found to break up the plaque formations around the teeth so they could actually prevent tooth decay. Uh, and possibly even uh, gum tissue disease. So, and anthocyanins are found in blackberries, blueberries, black plums, cherries, cranberries, and I'm sorry about this one, eggplant. Um, all those wonderful things to eat. Actually, the berries are pretty good. Number nine, we're working down, uh, arginine. Now, I've heard about this for many years, arginine and healthy mouths, and just healthy bodies. Now you can buy arginine, L-arginine supplements at the grocery store or the big box pharmacies uh, and just take it as a supplement. Um, but it does um, help prevent tooth decay and also it, arginine is known for disrupting plaque buildup. You find these, finally we get something that's kind of good to eat. Um, red meat and nuts both contain arginine. Number eight, calcium. You figured it would be on the list because we all know calcium helps build strong, healthy bones. Um, 
and uh, is a major contributor to strong teeth. Calcium supports the jawbone and tooth health by encouraging remineralization that builds enamel back up after it becomes damaged. There's a lot of controversy on that, whether you can actually repair enamel after it's been damaged. Now, the stem cell research that they're doing nowadays is pretty exciting. They've actually, in Europe, come up with uh, little cotton pellets that are uh, coated with stem cells or impregnated with stem cells, and they've stuck them in a tooth and actually got tooth structure to grow back. But I can't get good answers on whether that's the dentin layer inside of the tooth or the enamel layer on the outside. We also don't know how will that tooth know when to stop growing. You don't want a molar to grow right up here in the front where you have an incisor right now. So they've got a few things to work out in that plan. But it's nice to know that, you know, calcium, we all know, Calcium comes from milk. That's why our mothers in the 60s made us drink milk every day. Uh, most dairy products have calcium, but you can also get it in most seafoods. And if you don't consume dairy or meat, you can get it from tofu, leafy greens, calcium fortified foods, or you can get it in a supplement form and just take the calcium in a tablet form. Number seven, folic acid. Now, folic acid has been around a long time, well, since we've been around. Uh, it aids in cell growth and regeneration. So if you've got an injury, it'll help uh, with the rebuilding. Um, it also helps oral tissue stay healthy and teeth stay stable. Uh, however, folic acid is only stored in your body for short periods of time before it gets processed. So it's not a long-term thing. So you have to consume it regularly. Uh, in order to, for it to, to have an effect. Best dietary source of folic acid is cruciferous vegetables. What are those? Sorry, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, kale, and cabbage. <laughs> I wish I could give you better news than that. It doesn't come from chocolate. Uh, magnesium, number six. The right amount of magnesium helps protect bones and teeth from damage. It's similar to calcium, but a little bit different. It's a positive charge uh, ion in your body, and it's uh, essential to help build in healthy bones and uh, teeth. So where do you get magnesium? Well, again, you can take it as a supplement form uh, in a lot. Magnesium is, is in almost every multi multivitamin uh, that you take on a daily uh, basis, but it's also found in whole grains, wheat, mag uh, magnesium, all the oats, things like that. You can also get it from bananas, from leafy vegetables, and from avocados. Avocados are a great source. Uh, phosphorus, number five, calcium and phosphorus, two of the main components of tooth enamel. So increasing your intake of these nutrients can fortify your teeth against erosion, staining, damage. I'm not so sure I agree 100% with that. Sometimes once the enamel is damaged, you're not going to be able to repair it. That's my job. Um, but it's not going to hurt you any either. You can get phosphorus in your diet by eating nuts, seeds, eggs, and red meats. Yay! Uh, number four, polyphenols. I know you've heard that word before. Uh, there was a study published in the Journal of Dentistry that polyphenols can help stop the plaque causing bacteria from from growing. So the bacteria around your teeth that cause that sticky film that we call plaque, now they call it biofilm. The word plaque is kind of going back to something hanging on the wall again. Um, but in dentistry, we now refer to it as biofilm because it, it's not just the sticky substance that bacteria produce. It's got food particles. It's got bacteria in it. Um, so it's a, it's a, a complex uh, sticky film, but you can find, find polyphenols in green and black tea, flax seed, and cocoa. Hey, we finally got something that's, uh, you know, a little bit on the junk foodie side. Number three, probiotics. These are important things. They help the bacteria probiotics replace or help stimulate the good bacteria in your stomach. If you didn't know it, you've got millions of bacteria living in your intestinal tract from just below your stomach all the way through the colon. Uh, and the, these help us digest our foods. But 
bad bacteria, if you take a round of antibiotics, you may knock out some of the good guys along with whatever was causing your, uh, your, your illness. And sometimes the bad bacteria and funguses start to take over and disrupt your dig digestive flow. So uh, probiotics help even all that stuff out by introducing the good bacteria back into your intestinal tract. You can find probiotics in low-fat yogurts as well as certain other fermented foods like miso paste, sauerkrauts, fermented vegetables, Mediterranean food is full of those kind of things. Um, but good source. Uh, number two, no surprise here, vitamin C. Uh, I've been talking, preaching vitamin C ever since the beginning of the pandemic. It's something that you should be taking on a daily basis. Vitamin C has so many healthy benefits for your body. It helps build collagen, so it helps with skin regrowth. Um, it helps with stopping you from bruising. It gives you an extra boost of energy. Um, it gets as much attention as antioxidants, and it's readily available in most people's diets. Um, they've done studies where people that took vitamin C for a while had healthier gums. They did better after any kind of oral surgery uh, from a tooth extraction to a gum graft or anything like that because of that added boost in uh, making the uh, building blocks for collagen available. So. Um, is healthier gum tissue. Most fruits and vegetables contain some amount of vitamin C, but here's the biggies. We all know about oranges from the sunshine state being a good source of vitamin C, but kale, has, and there's that nasty word again, kale, bell peppers, uh, all those, those vegetables can help with boosting vitamin C or again, sound like a broken record, but you can just buy it at the store in vitamin C supplements. I take a thousand milligrams a day. Some people, especially if you were a smoker or are a smoker, you need to take 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. It's not going to hurt you. You can't overdose on it. What your body doesn't use, it just moves right on through and they become bull ringers. But uh, uh, number one, and uh, very important, I've been preaching this since the beginning of the pandemic too, vitamins A, C, and E. Uh, vi vitamin D. Vitamin D uh, helps your body absorb calcium more quickly and more effectively. Vitamin D, calcium, and phosphorus, um, they, they all help with oral health. So uh, best source of vitamin D, get out in the sunlight every day. When sunlight hits your skin, it, your skin produces vitamin D. Uh, one hour of daylight it, it hitting your skin, uh, not even, you know, you don't have to be butt naked. You can just uh, have, you know, arms exposed, chest exposed, um, and an hour is all you need out in the sun to get enough vitamin D produced right there on your own body, but you can also do it with supplements um, and, you know, eggs, cold water fish, um, all those things. So. There's our list of 11 nutrients that can help with your oral health and with your overall body health. Um, my health tip for the week, keep a food journal. If you're new to this whole thing and some of what I told you today was news to you, um, then keeping a food journal will help you figure out what you're eating and what, what's not working for you. If you're trying to lose weight, uh, most every nutritionist will have you keep a food journal so that you can see and they can see what are you eating on a day-to-day -day basis. And then at the end of the week, you can look back and say, okay, maybe I shouldn't have had ice cream that night uh, after having a bunch of refined carbohydrates. On top of that, no wonder I'm not losing weight. So our job is to help you spiral upwards and stay healthy for the month of September. So see you next week for another episode of Wisdom Wednesday.